In the case of the UAE, we found that 66% of um, Emirati students in their last year of high school engage in private tutoring. Um, given uh, that in other countries uh, in the Gulf, such as Bahrain, Qatar, um, uh, the teachers in the schools are also expatriate uh, Arab males, um, as in the UAE, um, it can be reasonably assumed that um, the scale would be the same um, or approximately the same. Um, whereas in countries such as Egypt, um, the rates are much higher. In a study by Hartman, it was found that there's uh, rates of between 80 to 90 percent, which is some of the highest rates in the world. In cases in, in countries such as Egypt, uh, Tunisia, other Levant countries, um, it's not all, it seems that it's not only because of the demand from students, it's also uh, teachers supply private tutoring because they are looking for um, additional forms of income. Um, their salaries are uh, quite low, um, especially if it's a male teacher who's also the breadwinner in the family. Uh, he's looking for supplementary income. Um, and in studies that have been conducted in Egypt, such as the one by Hartman, it was found that um, teachers who conduct private tutoring can make um, double the amount of their monthly salary within two hours of private tutoring. And therefore, it's, it, it's a very rational decision uh, as to why they would engage in private tutoring. In the worst of cases, it's been found to, to lead to corruption. So um, according to a lot of articles and anecdotes um, uh, across the Middle East, uh, teachers have been found to um, sell uh, exams to students. Um, they've been favoring certain students that engage in private tutoring over others, blackmailing students. Um, so, so it definitely, it can, it, it can and may lead to changes in the classroom. In the Middle East, particularly um, in Turkey, uh, Egypt, and other places, um, males are more likely to engage in private tutoring because uh, for females, uh, there's still the social barriers that don't allow them to um, work too long away, work long hours, um, be away from home. Um, so males are always more likely to engage in private tutoring. However, in the case of, uh, in the, case of the Gulf countries, what's most interesting is that um, the males who engage in private tutoring uh, and are also the teachers in the schools have been primarily found to be the expatriates. Um, now the expatriates, uh, they're originally from countries such as Egypt, Jordan, Syria, Palestine, uh, and elsewhere in the Middle East. Um, 65% of the males that are engaged in private tutoring in the UAE were Egyptians. Now, private tutoring is, is, is a huge phenomenon in Egypt. Uh, it, so it, it seems that the teachers, uh, the Egyptian teachers in particular, are importing the culture of private tutoring from Egypt into the classrooms, uh, into the UAE. And uh, given that other countries in the Gulf have a similar uh, s sort of uh, similar populations who are who are teaching, uh, it can be it can be reasonably assumed that um, that a similar situation is is happening there as well, and so with 65% of the um, teachers being Egyptian and 50% of the teachers uh, tutoring their own students um, being also the classroom teachers, uh, it creates quite an interesting scenario where um, the governments. I guess there's a, there's a role for the governments to consider when employing um, such teachers and taking into consideration the fact that they come from cultures where private tutoring is, is very popular and importing it into, into the Gulf countries.